funeral makes it all real for her, and it's that moment, you know, she sees Jocelyn's body, she sees, you know, their, the effigy, and it hits her like a ton of bricks, because her mother's gone and she has to find a way to move on. That kind of causes her to lean on Simon. In the books, they talk about um, the idea of pillars, and Simon knows that he's one of Clary's pillars. Like, he's, I'm the person that she goes to, I'm the person that's known her longer than anyone that's here now. It gives them both a, a sense of relief, because they're both in these new worlds, fledglings in a sense, struggling to find their place. You have plans? Yeah, I'm hanging out with uh, Maya. But there's a scene in episode seven where he's about to go on a date with Maya. And this is the first girl that he's seen in a long time that's really kind of like knocked him off his rocker. I just can't believe how close I came to being loose dinner. A wolf that size is more like an order. And I think it's the first time she goes, wait a minute, maybe I feel differently about Simon now. Maybe there's something there. She is looking at him in a new way. There's a beautiful scene. It's, it's the first time Simon and Clary kiss. The thing is, when two people are friends, people like, like you and me, sometimes feelings evolve. Simon's the only person that kind of is able to center her. They're each other's lighthouses in that sense. They can always find it and then know where they are. Stay. I'm in love with you, Clary. Forget and it, it might get weird, and that it might, or it might be... And, and it's just this sweet moment where you finally see Simon take charge, and you see Clary make the choice as well to really commit to being completely honest with each other. And uh, there's something really beautiful in that. <laughs>